This was brought to my attention through our uh, weekly question comment thread I put up on the official Common Filth subreddit, reddit.com slash r slash Common Filth, if you want to join the conversation and have a dialogue. And whenever you hear somebody use those words in, in a sincere manner, whenever you're like, oh, we just want to have a conversation about X, Y, Z, it's usually they're terrible people and they want you to be like some childlike retard who's like constantly asking these stupid questions that, that, that aren't accusatory, that aren't like, wow, you're really fucked up. Why are you so messed up? You know, they get really mad about that. You know, that's why they organize into these mafias. But um, I think we'll get into that a little bit later, but this is what I want to bring to your attention. And this, there are some other questions in this one, but this is the one I want to start off with. Here's a topic for you. This guy's name is Your Movie Sucks. Uh, he has a very controversial opinion, controversial opinion, which made me lose all my respect for him when I found out that he's just another degenerate. And he's apparently, um, he's also apparently homosexual in addition to this. So we're going to read what this guy said. If anyone wants to have an actual discussion on the subject, and let me let me backtrack here, the subject is bestiality and his opinions on bestiality, animal rape. So this is what he said. If anyone wants to have an actual discussion on the subject, I'm perfectly willing to defend my controversial opinions. Right now, I'm just seeing a lot of wow, Adam, without any actual constructive debate or discussion. Here's a comment I just left on the video in case anyone's wondering. And his comment said, Thank you for linking to the original video in the description so people can see the full argument, but I do not see why you left so much out of it. I stand by my controversial opinions. I do not believe that sex with animals should be encouraged, but I am wholeheartedly against imprisoning those who have had non-abusive sexual relations with animals. Oh, well... And if you ask him where he would draw the line, you'd be like, I don't know. but the animal gave me a look, you know, that, that meant they consented, they were in heat. And what else? What else does this retard say? To say that there is no such thing is incredibly ignorant and illogical. Are, he, are animals humans? Can they agree to such a psychologically impactful act as we can? And we can agree to it, but we we, we don't agree to um, bring on the consequences of that action on ourselves. How do you explain all of the... Never mind, that's off topic. But I should finish that thought. All these girls that go off to college, they're, they're nice and cute and they, they're, they're feminine. And then they get this idea like, I'm going to sexually experiment in college. And then they do it. They do it again. They they start feeling gross about themselves. They feel guilt about what they've done to themselves. And the rest is history. They they shave their half their hair, dye it weird colors, start making videos about how they're sluts, and they write poems about being a slut. It, to say that sex is just like some fun thing, you're you're completely ignoring the, the what results from it. You think that these girls that that dye their hair armpit hair. They did that because, oh, they're just bored. No, they did that because they're feeling some really deep trauma. They want to get rid of their old self that that did that to themselves. You know, they, they, they think like, oh, I'm shedding my skin. That means I'm a new person. So that's what I was going to say. But this guy thinks there's no such thing as a uh, this guy says that um, to say there is no such thing as non-abusive sexual relations with animals is an incredibly ignorant and illogical. Objective reasoning matters more to me than emotional gut responses. I do not believe in putting innocent people in jail just because ew, gross. Now, he's notice how with every one of these people, they focus on the disgust response. They're like, why, why is it you dis why is it you disgusting? Why are you disgusted with that? That's that's what they say. That's what they point to immediately because that's what they lack. What you need to ask yourself is why people have a disgust response towards horse fuckers or dog fuckers or, or whatever. People that put their penis inside of, of an animal. Putting their their dick in, in that which does not belong. Why? Why do people have that disgust response? Well, what causes the erection? The erection that makes sexual intercourse possible. What is the purpose of an erection? Well, let's go back. Let's go back to when you uh, when you first started getting your pubic hairs. 
What does that indicate? You know, you're like 13, 14, whatever. What does that indicate? You are reaching sexual maturity. What is sexual maturity? Sexual maturity is not like, oh, I'm a consenting adult. Because as we know, when adults consent, they're not consenting to all of the consequences of what they're about to do. They don't know what's about to happen to them. They don't, they're, they're completely oblivious to the effects that what they're consenting to will have on them. So sexual maturity does not mean, oh, I can handle it. Sexual maturity means you, you have the power to create life. That's what this means. Not like, oh, I can, I can come now. Which just goes to show you how divorced this creature is from hu- his own humanity. So, puberty, sexual maturity. Sexual maturity equals you are able to conceive, to procreate, to create life. How do you do that? How do you create life? Science is trying to rearrange the proper order from pressure, due to pressure from the LGBT lobby. This is true, but they haven't got there yet. And God willing, they never will. So, puberty Set equals sexual maturity equals babies. You're able to have babies. What's the how's the only way? The only way you can have a baby. Sperm plus egg. Sperm plus egg. How is that possible? Is that sperm fertilizing pig eggs? I don't even know if pigs have eggs, but the point stands. A human egg, a human sperm. That is the only thing that can create life, which is the purpose of sexual maturity. So, we know now that this is the functional way to use your sexual maturity because that's its design, that is its purpose. Is the purpose of our cocks, our dicks, to, to stuff it in a horse's anus? Is that, is that what it's for? Is that its design, its purpose, its function? See, to this retard, the answer is no. This thing that, that's between my legs is just for me to play with. That is the mentality. And that is why they all they only focus on the disgust response and not what it is, where it's coming from. Usually we are disgusted by dysfunctional things. Those of us who are disgusted by dysfunctional things, we have connection to our own humanity. We are connected with our own humanity. You are not. So we just read some mental excrement from an American retard. And he is retarded. Again, oh, this consent and uh, we shouldn't we shouldn't encourage it, and, but we shouldn't throw people in jail for it. That is that is encouraging it. You are saying that there is a society for people that are sexually attracted to that which is biologically incompatible. No, there's a place for it. We should like have him on our radio shows and ask him, wow, what's this like? Wow, what, what, did you feel a real connection with them? We should ask these childlike retard questions. That's having a conversation. That's having a dialogue. Yeah, I, I want to know. I really want to know what um the the great insight a, uh, a horse fucker has to say. A re- you have a real, real unique uh, perspective on life that we could all benefit from. A greater understanding with, you know, people who reject their humanity, what makes them human.